friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I track calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I actually shopped at two stores this week and I'm excited to share with you everything I picked up. So if you're excited to give this video a big thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday in five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I lost 90 pounds in 2022 and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let me flip you around and let's jump in to the grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I shopped at both Sprouts and Walmart. What you don't see is Gatorade Zero and Diet Coke, which Troy has already put away in the garage fridge. But let's go ahead and start out with what I picked up from Sprouts. Sprouts has their Good Culture Cottage Cheese, which you guys know is my all-time favorite. It is currently on sale for $3.99, which is the same price as I can buy it at Fry's or the Kroger store. Normally it's like $5.99 at Sprouts, so that's a pretty good deal for Sprouts. And then I grabbed this little snack pack. I thought either Troy or I could eat this. It was on sale for $1.75, and it's pretzel, string cheese, and apples. And I thought that would be kind of just a convenient on-the-go snack. I also grabbed some baby cucumbers because we love these and I actually need cucumbers for a recipe. A couple of red bell peppers for two different recipes. And then of course, shredded chicken. This is a day convenience. It's very nice to have this on hand. I need shredded chicken for a recipe and this is just going to make it so much easier. I don't have to cook it and shred it. It is already done. And then I needed broccoli and I lucked out because this broccoli is on clearance for $4. It doesn't expire for about a week, so I'll definitely be using it up before it expires, but that's about half price. So I was really excited to find that and it's even the organic broccoli. I picked up some pecans for a recipe and to make some more of the Snickers dates. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I've really fallen in love with dates. So I actually picked up two packages. They were buy one, get one free at Sprouts. So really, really good deal. And then the pecans are for the Snickers dates as well as a recipe. If you missed how to make the dates that taste like a Snickers bar, I'll link that what I eat in the video what I eat in a day video down below for you. Also, Chetties were on sale. This is one of my favorite crackers. This is similar to a Cheez-It, but better. And there's six grams of protein per serving. So I picked up two boxes because they were on sale for $3.99 and normally they're about $5.49. So that's a much, much better deal. Oh, and side note, Troy gave me roses for Valentine's Day. They're so beautiful, so I thought I'd put them on the counter for the video. I'm also totally out of yogurt, so I grabbed a couple at Sprouts and then grabbed a couple at Walmart. So I picked up two Siggies, one key lime and then one vanilla. And then this little guy, I've never had it before, but it was on sale for 99 cents. This is the Icelandic Provisions Extra Creamy Lemon Yogurt. This is a whole milk yogurt, so it's going to be a little bit more points and calories, but there's still a good amount of protein in there. And I thought I would try it since it was on sale for 99 cents. Some grapes because they were on sale at Sprouts and then I picked up my favorite popcorn. I love the Lesser Evil Himalayan Pink Salt Popcorn. So incredibly delicious and the price at Sprouts is the same as at Kroger. So since I was there, I grabbed myself a bag for the week. So moving over to Walmart, I grabbed a loaf of white bread for Troy for his sandwiches and another pack of the lavash bread. I've really been enjoying this. I love how low calorie it is. I love that there's fiber, protein. It tastes really good. I've been making my little wraps with it and grilling them up kind of like a grilled cheese. I love them. I went through the entire pack, so I went ahead and picked up another one and lots of cheese. So we needed some light shredded mozzarella and light shredded Mexican blend for a recipe. And then my favorite cheese when I'm making wraps or sandwiches is pepper jack. I had no idea that they had a reduced fat from Sargento. So I grabbed that. That'll save me some fat and some calories when making my little wraps and sandwiches. I just love pepper jack cheese on those. I grabbed some sugar-free whipped cream so that I can make protein pudding. I'm all out of my whipped cream. I was looking for the Ready Whip, no sugar added. They didn't have it, so this one will do. A big box of Troy's favorite cereal, the Toasted Berry Crisp from 
Kashi. It is way cheaper at Walmart than at Kroger stores. It's like a dollar more than the small box for the huge family size box at Walmart. So I picked that up. And then also for him, he had asked for a refill on his Stridex pad. Light sour cream because we always have sour cream in our house and we have been using this on that Mexican casserole that I made in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So I restocked the sour cream. Scored on the 99% ground turkey. It was on sale for $4.81. There are there were two packages left, so I picked them both up. I actually needed ground turkey for a recipe this week. I decided to try the Chobani Complete Vanilla. I haven't tried this one. I really like the strawberry and the banana one. I love having these on hand because they have 20 grams of protein, and it's just a really easy way to get in protein, especially on the go. And then I grabbed some more light mayo. I was shocked that this mayo was $5. I remember it being like two something or three something. So I know everything went up, but I was really surprised that that was $5. I needed some turkey breast for a recipe and the Hillshire Farm was on sale at Walmart. So I grabbed that. Two gallons of 1% milk for Troy and then lots more yogurt. So I did get one of the Oikos protein yogurt in mixed berry. And then my favorite Oikos triple zeros are the banana and the lemon. So I did pick up one of each of those, and then a couple of two good as well. This one is, this one's really good. This is the mango hibiscus. And then I also grabbed the coconut. That way I have some yogurts on hand. I definitely want to buy them next time I go to Costco or Sam's Club because they're more affordable, but this will definitely tide me over. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for dinners. Tonight, Saturday, we are going out for dinner. Tomorrow, I'm throwing a pot roast in the crock pot. Monday, I'm going to be making a broccoli chicken Alfredo bake. Stay tuned for this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing chicken stuffed crescent rolls. And then Thursday and Friday, we do leftovers. That way we can eat up everything from earlier in the week. Apparently, I wrote on my grocery list my meal prep. So this is supposed to say a hash brown casserole for breakfast. For lunch, I'm doing kind of a meat roll up meal prep kind of bento box. And then I am making turtle energy balls. So yeah, we wrote on the back of our grocery list instead, but all three of these recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from Sprouts and Walmart for the week, what's on my menu for dinners, and definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. And again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on and check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. Once again, happy Saturday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.